welcome to Manchester. Uh, we decided to get a nice leisurely train up. We've come up to the city. Um, I've had a challenge been given me from um, Tom O'Neill. Hi Paul, hi Martin. Uh, now, what I want to do for this challenge is I want us to go out and shoot a theme. Now a theme can be anything you want, but it has to have one condition. Whatever photographs you shoot have to be relevant to that theme and all the photographs have to have some kind of light trails. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with and uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. And uh, also Martin Fudge is joining in. Hi Tom, hi Paul, thanks for the invitation in joining in this uh, collaboration challenge. Um, this is me just uh, accepting your challenge and I look forward to seeing what you two come up with. So, we'll chat soon. And uh, he's given me uh, quite an interesting challenge and difficult one. So we're going to have a look around, do a bit of uh, street photography and uh, see if we can get some light trails later on when the light goes down and gets a bit darker. Uh, we've got a plan for a few cars, maybe trams, hopefully find some Christmas lights as well. So uh, yeah, welcome to another vlog, welcome to another adventure and uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. With his mum. Well, we're heading back up towards the tram. Uh, the lights are going down now, or the lights are coming out, should I say, and it's getting a bit darker in the sky. Uh, creeping up towards four o'clock. Uh, GoPro's on a low battery, so I'm gonna swap the battery over in a minute to try and make it last. Now my challenge is gonna start to begin. Um, I know I've waffled on throughout it, but this is where the challenge starts. Um, my challenge from Tom O'Neill, as you know earlier on, um, was light trails and my theme is the city and the Christmas spirit and uh, all I've got to do now is get some light trails so uh, we're going to go up to the trams and uh, see what we can find along the tram tracks use some leading lines from the tram tracks and uh, dodging people all the time and uh, get the lights on the front of the trams and maybe the lights in the windows as well and then we'll make our way back down and see if we can get any Christmas lights and this is really difficult, this is really busy and there's an awful lot of people around keep bumping into people and the queues for the toilets are the Right, let's see how we get on with this one. I'm going to do this challenge and I'm determined. If not, I've got one I took earlier on, it's cheap. Right, that guy we were just talking to, uh, got talking about photography and stars and he asked me whether I could get a photograph of him. He's a self-publishing poet. Um, he's on YouTube and he's got one of my cards and he's also just subscribed so I'll get the details of him and I'll put his link below for you. Check him out. Um, he's up and coming apparently and uh, I hope he does well. Um, but he has asked me if I can do him an image for his cover of his book. So I'm definitely up for that. So if you do get to watch this, I'm up for that. I'll see if I can sort the image out for you. And I've just been told by the good lady wife that his book's called Reading Under the Stars. And if I can get a link to his book, again, I'll put it down below. Uh, so check that one out. Um, this is where the plan begins. We got uh, the camera set up. Let's just undo my arm because I've got my arm twisted around the lead. Uh, emergency systems, just in case someone runs up a bit. And I've got a tram coming. Sorry, were you looking down my chest then? I've got a tram directly in front of me at the moment. Um, so I'm going to take a picture of this. Long exposure. Uh, should get rid of all the people. I've got a little tripod set up, as you can see down below me. And um, I'm hiding behind this metal post. So theoretically, I shouldn't be able to get hit from here. Um, the tram's going to come extremely close and I wouldn't be advised to have my arm sticking out but I've got com one coming around from the left and one coming in front of me uh, I'm on F22 and I'm going to put the exposure on uh, here he comes nice and close, look how close he gets so I'm not sure how that works a bit, a bit of a hit and miss one this one but I'm trying to get a few lights but there you can see he comes around really close um, yeah F22 and I think that was about 5 seconds and I've got another tram coming in front of me now so this is going to be for me light trail if I can get it that was a bit too long, so I'm going to underexpose now. Uh, I'm going to drop this right down. We're on 2.5 seconds because I want the sky a little bit darker. Uh, so I've gone, I've gone one stop underexposed. I've got the leading line coming in from the left. 
Um, I focus roughly in the middle of the frame where the lines are crossing, if you can see when you see the image. I've got a train bang in front of me, or a tram should I say, and again he's going to come pretty close behind me. And uh, if I can I'll hold the camera back so you can see how close he's coming. And uh, you'll also see I've got a 2.5 second exposure. So this should be just enough to get the lights just moving past me. Um, and get that bit of a light trail. A bit of a beep and off he comes. He's got his flashing lights on. We go 2.5 seconds, hit the shutter now. And he should have them lights streak straight past me. As you can see, he gets pretty close. All good fun. And the back of the tram again, really, really close. So yeah, you just got to make sure you keep your arms and your legs inside. And we've got another tram coming now. That's going to make it really interesting for us. Again, that wasn't very good, so I'm not, uh, I'm not getting this. So we're going to go another exposure down. I'm going to drop it down two, two stops under exposure and go for one and a half seconds. Um, we've got a bus coming past now. Again, at F22, I'm at ISO 100. That's all I can do really on this. Two stops under, and he's on his way now. Those people are going to stand in front of me. No, they're not. And I see if I can get these lights trailing in front. Keep taking exposure, he's going straight past us this time. Right, from my position I don't think that's working. So I'm going to need to get a little bit higher now, look down on top of him instead. So we'll be back in a moment. I've moved off on that spot. That was a bit of an epic fail, I think. I'll uh, see if I can make an image out of anything there. Uh, I might go back in a minute when it's a bit darker, get a longer exposure out of it. F22, I'm not keen on using as it is. Um, but what we are gonna do, we're coming back to the waterfall where we started earlier on, not waterfalls, the water fountains, and uh, they're all full of colored lights. So it's probably not light painting, but it might be painting with lights, if that makes sense. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can get an image here. Maybe someone running for the water. Um, if not, you're going to get some coloured lights in the water and the fountains. So uh, we'll see if we can set the tripod up somewhere and get a few coloured coloured water washes. Oh, there's a kid that's falling down in the water. Epic. Wicked. We're having some fun now. This is quite cool. Uh, if I can get away without not getting any water spray in it. down with the shovel later. <laughs> yeah, good dude. Right, um, set the camera up again. And this is a much better position. Uh, I lifted the tripod up a little bit higher, as you can see there. Uh, balance, I'm gonna put my arm back through the strap just because you can't trust anybody running past you. Um, I've got the camera set up, let's switch it back on. Uh, we're on ISU 200, which is as low as this will go, raw that is. And uh, I'm on F20, which is giving me 10 to 13 seconds. There's an extremely bright street light above me, um, which is causing problems because I can't actually slow the shutter speed down and get it right. Um, and yes, I know I've not got no hat on. I will put that right in a moment because my head's getting cold. Uh, I'm going to. I'm not using a two-second timer because that's just no good. Um, I'm waiting for the tram to come round again now. I've just done a test shot. And it looked pretty good. Getting these lovely streaks coming right round um, from the thirds, from the right-hand thirds, leading right past off into the left. Um, I had one going backwards as well. So if we can get one going both directions, it might work quite nicely. But this is a proper little light trail. Uh, the tram's in Man uh, Manchester, and this could be my image uh, for Tom. So we're just gonna sit now and wait for a tram. Oh, we've got a tram on its way over. So get me finger poised, F20, 13 seconds. Well, he's just pulling up at the station. Uh, let's flip the camera out. Oh, it's gone off into sleep again. Right, this is what we're looking at. You can see the tram coming in the distance. So I'll video my finger, hit it now, 13 seconds, 
and it should give us some streaks all the way past. So I'm going to get ready to hit it again just in case. Comes around, smile from the conductor, and I'm going to hit it again one more time just to get some of these orange streaks. And you should see on the back of the camera when it comes back on that we've got some streaks on the camera. Any minute now, any minute now, any minute now, and a bus. Um, there we go. So let's have a look at the last one. There's me little streaks, you can just about see them there. And there's me streaks coming in the other one. So yeah, I think that's quite nice. Um, maybe not echo one street, uh, so to speak, but uh, at least I've got me light trails. I'm gonna go and find somewhere else to stand now. And uh, I want somewhere where it's split in between the two, if I can. I'm going to try and get myself in a position where the trams come both sides of me and see what I'm going to that one out. challenge done um, I'm not sure whether I succeeded or not uh, personal personally I didn't um, I failed I went out with something in mind Christmas theme uh, in the city and I was expecting more moving rides and fairgroundy type things or a big wheel or something and there was nothing here um, it's not very Christmassy at all to be honest maybe it's a little bit early so yes Tom I had to go at your challenge I'm sure you've seen a couple of images I've put up already I did get some light trails and the challenge was light trails uh, the trams were pretty cool. Got a bit of close to them, so that was all fun. Yep, thanks again for that. And uh, look forward to seeing yours, Tom's, and uh, Martin Fudge's video when he puts it out. <laughs> and looks like I've just been photobombed here. <laughs> um, but that's the city for you. Right, I'm going to call it quits now. I'm going to say goodbye. Check out some of my other videos. I do a lot of landscape. Uh, I'm a bit out of my depth in the city, but uh, it's been good fun, and it's nice to get out of your comfort zone. And now the party goers are coming out. So see you soon. See you on the next one from the wife. Goodbye. And goodbye from me. Ciao. See you later.